Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Google Pixel 4a with the 13 Android system update beta 3. Stay locked in with me. Alright, yo, how's it going guys? So when Android 12 first released to the Google Pixel devices like the 4A and when it was released with the Google Pixel 6 and 6 Pro, a lot of people thought it was a hot mess, right? They were, they were saying that it wasn't ready. It wasn't, it had a lot of issues when it came to the different features. There was some, some of the brightness issues with the adaptive brightness, some of the Wi-Fi um, and 4G, 5G connection issues and other issues where it just uh, it's just plain and simple some of the functions wouldn't work I, I even heard somebody say that they couldn't do split screen window or something like that but luckily for me I never ran into any issues of that nature but I did have my Google Pixel 6 um, actually you know I, I'll leave the video right here what happened but essentially I did brick my device when I tried to downgrade from 13 to 12 and that was unfortunate so i'm still waiting for google to send out my package so i can send it out to them so that i can get my google pixel 6 repaired but in the meantime we're going to be talking about the google pixel 4a right now and the the android 13 beta 3 with this device which is actually going to be updated to this device and i want to talk about some of the features that i like about it so all right guys so this this update right here for these Pixel 4a is ready to restart on the phone, but what does it actually do, right? Well, it's basically going to be a major bug fix, major, uh, uh, going forward, it's gonna help the UI straightforward uh, as far as like overall, you know, productivity, uh, security uh, functions on a daily basis. We talked about all the new features in the last video, I'm gonna leave that up here, but and there's actually one more feature that I wanted to mention, and it's this flashlight toggle. When you go into the flashlight and you turn that on, right? When you go back to your home screen, you're gonna see it say flashlight on, Turn the tap to turn that off, and then it's gonna go back to that. So you can see it right now, it's the weather. When I turn on the flashlight and I turn that back to my home screen, you get that toggle. So I think that's something that's a really cool feature for the Pixel devices. It has a new active app screen. It has more um, features as far as like what you can do when you're doing the wallpaper themed icons. You're gonna see more options for that. You're gonna see the squiggly line for the media player. You're also gonna, um, you know what I mean? It's gonna definitely give you more features when it comes to, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, like just the rollout is going to fix the Android 12 slowdowns and things of that nature. So it's going to be much different, much more improved when it comes to this device. And it's for the Pixel 4a, 4XL, uh, you know, uh, 5a, 5a, uh, Pixel 6, Pixel 6 Pro. Uh, Pro. Uh, and um, basically, it's going to basically give you more features for your Bluetooth um, device so like I said uh, really solid as far as the features that we're getting so what features are we getting like I said the material colors on here uh, the app drill search it's gonna be more refined uh, uh, what else the priority mode for the do not disturb so let's just go over some of the things right here that I see right now I'm gonna put my password in um, so let's just wait for the phone to actually start back up and just kind of see what's the difference right now, right? New clipboard pop-up and um, editor, right? So you can see we still got that active apps down here. You can easily hit stop and control that. You can see right here, do not disturb is still, do not disturb is not priority mode anymore. So it says right here that you can change right here people who can interrupt you during messages and calls this is like a really quick thing to get into for when you're getting through um that feature duration for quick settings how long you want it to be um 
scheduled for the do not disturb certain apps you can actually add on to there as well so uh, you know that, that's pretty cool for the do not disturb features right uh you know um everything looks pretty much the same when it comes to this thing right here but a lot cleaner a lot quicker um right the pull down animations look really smooth as well uh transitions between different windows looks really clean and I'm going to go into back into settings right now so I can show you the uh, about phone right now. So if we go to about phone and I just go right here and look at the device and I check this Android 13 June 5th is now. So you're getting now you're getting June 5th on here for the Android 13 security patch. So, you know, that's going to be pretty solid, right? So it actually shows the three here now inside of this one so this is the beta i believe the beta 3 or something so it's showing you the 3 and no longer shows the 12 which is something that's really cool um so you can see right here june 5th july 1st uh security patch or whatever um definitely going to be another is the build number changed also but um one of the things that i did hear about is that if you go and click the build number a few times and go into the developer options they're gonna have this other feature inside of there. Let me see if it's actually true because I was researching it and I, um, let me just make sure it's there. Okay, so you get some, so as far as the developer options go, you still get all your toggles here. Let me go all the way down to the bottom. And so I noticed they had this stylus handwriting and when enabled um, current input method receives stylus motion event and editor is focused, so. Uh, just just uh, predictive animations, that's the one I was talking about. So right here, this setting enables system animations for predictive gesture animation. It, re it requires set setting per app um, to true. So I don't know, like that's actually new right there, that predictive back animations. Uh, that's gonna be a new feature. So it's incredibly smooth when you're moving from window to window, but that, that predictive back animations thing is uh, pretty clutch. So you can go right here. I'm not even sure what it meant when I, when I read that out to you guys, but I just know that that's one of the features they were talking about when they were explaining the um, software. And I'll, I'll try to get into it in a little bit more detail, right? Because they did say that that, that was one of the new features that was coming to this was the predictive back end. Um, so I, I'll kind of read what I saw about it right here and kind of kind of explain that just a little bit more. But right here it says that, um, it says predictive, uh, let me see, click more. And you, I could learn more about it right now. But for the predictive back animations, depending on what app you're in, the back gesture on Android can do any number of, ex expected or unexpected things. With Android 13, Google is working to make the back gesture destination more predictable so you don't accidentally close your app. So the predictable back gesture is now available in developer mode. And you could you could toggle that on, like I showed you, just tap double, um, just tap the developer options and then go ahead and go into developer, uh, double uh, quadruple tap build number then go into developer options and then you can activate the uh, predictive back um, thing that I was just talking about. So that's another thing that's pretty cool, right? Um, but like I said, it's just uh, another patch that's gonna make this device run a lot smoother. You can see the unlock animation looks super clean as well. You get smaller widgets for your different things. So let me see if I can make this smaller. You see how small that gets? Uh, the widgets are just, you're just able to make them really small, like pill shaped. And um, you could do that with a number of different widgets here. So you could do that with your battery widget. You could do that with your weather widget. Make this, this one doesn't shrink that small, but you see how small this one is, this little clock widget right here. You could make those incredibly small. So that was actually smaller than it was here. I just made it bigger, actually messing around with it. But it was a lot smaller before, you know You know what I'm talking about? So 
really good stuff there with, with the Android 13, just a lot more cleaner. And um, let me know what you guys think about your, de your devices as far as the updates with the Android 13. I definitely think it's running really smooth on here, but I'm gonna get right back with you. Make sure you, if you found this video helpful in any way possible, hit the like button, but let me know what you guys think about Android 13 beta three so far. But um, let me see if there's a new one yet on here because I know that they they always launch these things randomly like overnight you could just wake up and you could have a, a new update available on your smartphone so right here it says it's up to date with the June 5th one so that's pretty much everything that I wanted to talk about I'm pretty sure I missed a ton of stuff but as far as the wallpapers like I said before you get these really you get about 20 different background colors right here you can still theme them you can do five by five four by four four by five i know they're going to do six by five for the tablet when they come that out with that so they're going to actually make that even more crazy and even more customizable right but um this is insane right here and let's just read about this new article this the samsung phones will receive the update or whatever um so it's talking about android 13 on the samsung devices but this, this is really crazy if you just want to test out the new software ahead of time. I would definitely recommend it so you can check out all the latest features with your Google phone. But this is just a sick update for the 4A and up. But I'm going to check you guys later. Uh, I'll get right back with you. But in the meantime, have a great morning, afternoon, evening. And depending on where you are, have a great night. Later. Peace.